Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what is up? It's your host with the most entertaining people like you from coast to coast. Wait a minute, Mike, and we're back for another video. Stay tuned. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to get crazy progress on your waves. Now, this process is pretty easy for anyone who knows most of the wave methods. And that is because this method is the exact same method as the wash and style. Many people may not know just how beneficial the wash and style really is, but it is a key to getting lots of progress very quickly. That is, if you do it correctly and if you do it enough. And in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to do the washing style correctly. Before we get this video started, I want you, yes you, to go press the like button right now. Have you liked the video? Yes? Okay, good. Let's get this video started. So first of all, what are you going to need? Well, first, as always, you're going to need a brush. This specific brush is from a company named Smooth Styles. If you would like a Smooth Styles brush, go to www.smoothstyles.com and when you purchase a brush or anything from their website, make sure you use my promo code WAVEMAN. That way, you'll get a 30% discount. Yes, you heard that correctly, 30%. Next up, you're gonna need shampoo and conditioner. I'm using a co-wash. This is my very first time using a co-wash. So I have no idea how good it actually is gonna be, but there's a first time for everything. You're gonna need a do-rag. This is for the end of the process. You're gonna see what we do with the do-rag. And during the process, you're gonna need a mirror. Oh, there's one more thing you're gonna need. During a wash, you're obviously gonna need water. I didn't know if I had to list that or not. I just assumed that everyone would figure that if you're washing something, you're going to use water. So yes, you're going to need water. Okay, let's get this process started. So right now, I'm going to wet my hair. Okay, so now as you can see, my hair is wet. For this step in the process, it doesn't really matter what temperature water you use. But as a recommendation, I recommend using either somewhere between cold and warm, not hot. I'm going to get to why you don't want to use hot water later in the video if I remember okay so now that my hair is wet it's time to add the shampoo this is my first time using this product so I don't know exactly how it's gonna go but I do know what I'm doing so regardless I should be able to get pretty decent results okay so let me take this off this is what the product looks like <gasps> Okay, so I just tipped that over and a large chunk of that just fell on the floor. Like a lot of it. So that sucks, but oh well. Okay, so here is the product. I'm gonna rub it into my hands and then I'm gonna rub it into my hair. So you can either rub it into your hair in your, you know, your wave pattern, or if your waves are deeper and more set in, like mine, then you can scramble it into your hair to get a deeper wash. You never want to be too aggressive. This is because you don't want to damage your scalp. So just wash it regularly. I'm gonna put a little bit more in. Okay, this is what this looks like so far. So honestly, this product isn't working the best, but I have faith that it should get a little bit better once I do the second application. But if it doesn't, then I'll just use a different shampoo. So once you get the shampoo worked into your hair for the first time, then you rinse the shampoo out and apply it for a second time. This is ensuring that your hair gets as clean as possible. You want to get all of the product out on the first wash. And the second wash is reinforcing that and it helps to lay your hair down, which is a very important process because when you're laying your hair down with the shampoo in it, your hair is a lot easier to move and manage, which can add this crazy progress that we're talking about in this video. So now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this shampoo out of my hair and then I'm gonna apply another coat of shampoo. So now I've just finished rinsing all of the shampoo out of my hair. As you can see, it's all out. And now I'm gonna apply a second layer of shampoo. So I'm gonna dip my fingers in and get some and then just put it in my hair. 
Okay. And as I'm doing this, it is lathering a little bit better than the first time, but it's not lathering as much as I would like it to. So I might end up just rinsing this out and using a different shampoo. Enjoy this small moment of 360 wave ASMR. So yeah, I've come to the conclusion that this really is not going to foam up the way that I was expecting it to. So I'm going to rinse it out and then use a different shampoo. The one good thing I do have to say about this product is that it smells pretty good. Nonetheless, I'm still going to rinse it out and use a different product. Okay, so now all of that is rinsed out of my hair and now I'm just going to use straight up shampoo. This is the shampoo that I'm going to be using. I don't know if you can see the name of that, but I'm just going to try to hold it still so you can get the name and all that. All right, so I'm just gonna squirt some into my hand, just like that, maybe a little bit more. This is what it looks like. And then I'm gonna rub it into my hands and then rub it into my hair. As you can see, it's a big difference, a big, big difference. It's like water flying all over the place, but yeah. There's a lot of foam and suds everywhere. For anyone who's wondering, which there's probably no one wondering, you're probably thinking, Wave Man, why aren't you wearing your glasses? I thought you can't see without your glasses. And honestly, I can't see without my glasses. But for this type of video, I don't really need to see because my head is under the water most of the time, so my eyes are gonna be closed. And also, a lot of you have been saying I look like a robot or something when I have my glasses on and the light is reflecting off my eyes. But honestly, this looks more like a robot than it reflecting off my glasses. Anyway, let's get back to massaging this shampoo into my hair. So now I'm gonna add a little bit more water and a little bit more shampoo, just like this. Then I'll get my brush and I'll put it under hot water. The reason I put it under hot water is just to soften up the bristles just a little bit. That way the bristles aren't too firm and don't hurt my scalp because your skin is obviously gonna be more sensitive when it's wet. And I already have very, very, very sensitive skin. So that's not something that I want to do. So I'm taking the brush, putting it under hot water, and then I'll start brushing my hair. Let's do that. Okay, so now my brush is wet with hot water. The bristles should be a little bit looser. And now I'm gonna start brushing my hair. So I'm gonna take that mirror so that I can see what I'm doing and just start. I have a mirror behind me, which is giving a reflection to this mirror. So everything is gonna be easier to see. Also, I have the reflection of the camera like this. see my waves are already falling into place so basically I just repeat this for several minutes brushing your hair while your hair is wet with shampoo in it will make it lay down and make it easier to move which will break forks and a whole bunch of other benefits
just gonna be honest, I can't really see what I'm doing. But if I put my glasses on, then the shampoo will sprinkle all over my glasses, which then I still won't be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna tough it out. But I do wanna add a little bit more water. So this should be enough water. I am gonna add just a little bit more shampoo. All right, let's get brushing. If you watched this far in the video, go comment the blind bandit. You got that? The blind bandit. I'm doing all this pretty much blind. I really can't see what I'm doing. And to make things worse, I'm looking at a very small screen as my reflection with a very small mirror. I could use the mirrors behind me, but they're even further away. So it's kind of harder to see them. The struggle of having to wear glasses. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a soft brush. If you're wondering what a soft brush does, it basically just lays down and polishes your waves. I'll make a full video on the difference between hard, medium, and soft brushes if that is what you guys want. Also I can make a video talking about the differences of curved brushes and flat brushes. Just make sure to leave comments down below telling me if that is what you guys want. Okay, so I've just finished brushing my hair and now I'll show you what my waves look like. Another tip is when you finish brushing your hair, just smooth it down with your hand or you can use a Ziploc bag. The next few steps are very important and you need to make sure that you do these steps correctly. I'm sure that many people out there are doing these steps incorrectly so their washing styles do not come out the way they expect them to. So make sure you pay attention. Actually, everybody go comment that in the comment section right now. Pay attention. Yes, leave a comment saying pay attention. All right, so as you can see, the shampoo is still in my hair. There is shampoo in my hair. With the shampoo in my hair, I'm going to put the do-rag on my head, just like this. Now you can tie the do-rag. If you have no idea how to tie a do-rag, and you think you might be doing it incorrectly, I have many videos teaching you how to tie do-rags and even how not to tie do-rags. Okay, so now the do-rag is on my head and the shampoo is still in my hair. Now I'm going to go rinse my hair out with the do-rag on my head. I am rinsing out the shampoo with the do-rag on my head. I'm not gonna take the do-rag off to rinse the shampoo out. You got it? Good. Let me go do that right now. Okay, so now I have just rinsed the shampoo out of my hair. The water I used wasn't freezing, 
but it definitely had a little chill to it. Now we can go back to that part of the video when I was talking about not using hot water. The reason you do not want to use hot water to rinse your hair is because it's damaging to your hair and your scalp and it'll create frizz which is pretty much the exact opposite of the results you want from a wash and style. You want your hair to lay down as much as possible so frizz no bueno. Anyway, now that the shampoo is rinsed out of your hair, it's time to play the waiting game. You need to wait until both your hair and your do-rag are completely dry. Once they're dry, you can take off your do-rag and see your results. But under no circumstances should you take off your do-rag before it's completely dry. If you do, you'll mess up everything. You'll still get that progress you were hoping for, but you won't have your hair crazy laid like it was gonna be so just keep that thing on all right so i did some homework to pass the time for those of you who for those of you who don't know yes i am a straight a student but that's not the point of this video anyway hours have passed and now my hair is dry and now it's time to show you the results of the washing style here goes <laughs> What's that? I couldn't hear you. Oh, that's just because you're speechless. Yeah, it figures. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But yeah, tell me what you think of the results. I think they came out pretty good. They've been better before, but I mean, they're still pretty good. So let me know what you think and let me know if you'll be doing this yourself. But anyway, that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to go smack that like button right in the face. All right, if they ask you who I am, I'm Waveman Mike. So subscribe, drop a comment, and don't forget to like. Enjoy your day.